So, Michael, man, I see your shoes here coming in here like a superstar, bro. Can you tell me how it feels? Like, what do you feel to actually wear these type of shoes? And these type of shoes, I tell you, you have to have one thing, man. It's confidence. Mm. You have confidence can be rocking these kind of shoes, man. But uh, yeah, I appreciate being here, though, by the way. I appreciate you, man. And actually, I was, we were just talking about how Whole Selling Live is going to be one of the the most different event ever that ever I've done. never yeah, been because people are going to be like calling leads live at what time is it going to be around lunch once we, once we come back from lunch we're going to actually have all the attendees start calling and we're going to see who's going to step out of their comfort zone that's where that confidence comes in man man some sellers are actually ringing my phone right now coming in fresh from Facebook saying uh -huh. hey I need to move because uh, my parent, my parents just died they gave me the, the house I don't know what to do with it and I need someone to speak with and I, and I was like hey we're gonna do it. Right. Just wait for us yeah. a little bit until we talk with you on Friday and Saturday. So we have like fresh sellers, motivated seller leads. From Facebook, right? From Facebook. That's different. We, we need to actually assign a good closer for these yeah, people. Yeah. We're gonna get the elite individuals to make those calls. We're gonna have the top industry performers standing right next to the elite individuals. So those guys can close those deals. When I first heard about Facebook leads, I was like, that's different, man. So shout out to you guys for coming <laughs> And TikTok. And can, TikTok. Can you believe? Definitely different for sure. Bro. Man. You have no idea, but uh, so based on research, uh -huh. over 30%, it's about 30% of people are actually over 40 years old in TikTok as users. Can you believe that? I thought it was like 18 to 20. Right? Yeah. You would think that TikTok, it's like kind of like a kids kind of thing. Right. But the thing is that now TikTok, you can see news. You can actually be updated with whatever it's trending. Uh, you can actually see other like influencers talking about whatever it is. Yeah. So more people and more people will start to seeing TikTok and TikTok. Like for example, my dad, I, I caught him and I'm like, yeah, What's dad, you're, you're in TikTok? Yeah. And then, it, you know, you know how TikTok, you, you just go like, right, keep going. Yeah. you just go like this. And I heard my dad going like, uh, you know, looking at some videos and I'm like, dad, what, what app are you using? TikTok. And I'm like, how long you been using TikTok for? <laughs> He's like, he's like 62. Man, <laughs> can you believe that? So that's that's the thing, man. So we're going to be coming in here, hustling. Yeah, well, man, I appreciate you supporting, man. And Facebook is the, I guess Facebook and TikTok is the new wave, man, because everyone's doing the same thing. Everyone's using Prop, everyone's using all the other list source, uh, batch. But if you're doing Facebook and TikTok, and not that many people are doing it, you got to jump on the TikTok. Right, because right, it's a blue ocean. Yeah, for sure. It will be... Hey, when when do I have you in my podcast, man? Online hustlers, you're you're the hustle, Mr. Yeah, hustle guy. Have more hustle me. Sometime next month. Sometime next month, and we can get it going. Yeah, appreciate this it. is how you guys book a millionaire into your podcast. Yeah, stop <laughs> confidence comes up. There you go. He has the most killer Filipino virtual assistants in the world. So if you're a wholesaler looking to really leverage your time, this is where you guys got to go. Guys, VAs Focus. can help you delegate, automate, and systemize an entire business. Make sure y'all hone in. You can follow me at, I don't know, virtualsquadpub.com. Check out what we got going on. My dude right here is the god of SEO. So make sure you follow on my boy too. Facebook right? ads and PPC too. Let's go. <laughs> So what's your name, man, and what do you do for a living? Eric, Eric. Eric Klein, yeah, wholesale, closed deals. How many deals have you closed in the last year? Last year, let's, I'll keep it on 17 months. We're at about 142 contracts, I think. And that's and how much in revenue is that? About 3.2, 3.3 million. 3.2, 3.3 million, and just starting out, it's fresh in the real estate investing wholesaling side. I had no clue what it was 17 months ago. And do you think that people can get started without money in real estate? I mean, can you? Yes. Is it going to be an absolute grind? Yes. Um, but I mean, the find a, a house with overgrown grass and 
a board on the window and go up and find that number somehow, skip trace it. And yeah, you can get started with no money. It, it's going to be a, a more of a grind. So what do you think like people really need to in order to get started? What, what's the, be the number one skill set or thing that people have to have in order to get started and make millions? Sales. Sales. Sales experience. Wholesaling is not real estate, it's, it's marketing and sales. So as soon as you get the marketing down and sales, right, I think uh, sales kind of trumps. If you have a lead and don't know how to treat it, then the marketing is going to go to waste. So I would say sales number one, marketing. Yeah. So obviously you came from sales experience. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you made $3.3 million in the first uh, 17 months yeah. in wholesaling. Like, what was your experience that got you to that, po to that point? So prior to this, I owned the largest timeshare exit company in the U.S. And uh, within 10 years, we built that from zero dollars to doing over 30, north of 30 million every, you know, a year in gross sales. Had over 100 people on the phones closing deals. Wow. Yeah. That's impressive. I've always said it, guys. If you guys are not actually in the mindset that this is a marketing and sales organization, you're going to have a real tough time in the wholesaling part because, yes, you can actually do the numbers in the back end. You can actually like figure out all this real estate crap. But at the end of the day, if you don't know how to speak with someone that raised their hand said, I need to sell my house and don't know how to go through the entire process of actually locking it up under contract and then closing it, then you're not gonna be able to do it. And actually before that, you have to capture their attention. Yeah. So the first thing you gotta do is marketing and sales. And guess what? Now, now you have it locked up, you go through the entire process of trying to close this, now you have to also market to a buyer. And this is a B2B type of transaction, but it's still marketing and sales yeah. in, the, in the end side. So this is everything that I tell to, to, to people that come in here. Whether they're new or they've been in the game for a little bit and they've done some deals, they have to speak with someone like Eric Klein. They, they have, they, Eric, can you t walk me through like what you got to help people out, just level up their sales? Or, or yeah. how, do you, how do you make people go from zero to 12 months, uh, millions of dollars in the first year? Yeah, so um, it's a, I have a five-step sales process that I brought from my last industry. Um, it's something that I've created over 13 years of just pounding the phones, you know, trials and tribulations. Um, so it's a five-step sales process. Uh, every portion of your phone call, um, I break down into absolute detail, your intro, your fact find, your pitch, your offer, your close. Um, I'm a firm believer, like, the, the seller's name may be different, the address may be different, and their situation may be different, but your conversation should never change. Your side of the conversation should always flow the same from hello to goodbye. And uh, there's a process. People track their marketing KPIs. People track their marketing spend. We, you know, we track all these things on your business. But uh, I saw what the wholesale industry was lacking was tracking your sales process. Yeah. And you can't have five people in a room doing five different things and expect to get consistent results. So implementing a sales process into your business um, is it's a must if you're looking to scale. Okay. All right. Let's let's say this. You gotta say this hook. Okay. Here are the five steps to get to $3.2 million in 17 months in wholesale. Okay. Here are the five steps. Here are the five steps to get to $3.3 million in 17 months. Yeah. yeah. You're going to say that to your camera. Yeah. And right. that's going to be the hook. All right. And can you do that? And then I give the five steps. And then number one, oh, all right. intro. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Here's the five steps to get from zero to doing $3.2 million in a single year. One, you gotta have a sales process. Step one is intro. Step two is fact find. Step three is your pitch, that's the house. Step four is gonna be your offer, and then step five is the close. If you've done everything right up until the close, that should be the easiest part.